Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. We've got Maxi. He's out there with James Harden. Tobias Harris out there with Joel Embiid. And it's prime time in at the power forward position. And both teams tonight unafraid to run offense through their bigs, Grant. Talk about the value of being able to do that. Yeah, B.A., you know, it just speaks to how both teams can beat you in multiple ways of playing. I think it can lead to higher percentage looks with the bigs running the offense. You can strike a nice balance between inside and out, which coaches are preaching right now. And the three off target. Out left to the wing. Tipped. Outside Maxi. Pass to primetime. Let's it fly. Top of the key jumper. No good. Maxi covering. To the left side wing. Maxi covering. Uneasy two on the layup. Nice way to start the game. That's where you'd like to get your shots from. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Who poked away. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Six to shoot. Here's Embiid. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982, Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Pass to primetime. Now here's Harden. Not a lot of room to the inside. And there's MB. That one's good. And the assist by Harden. Credit to the defense for getting all over MB. But he just muscles his way to a good look inside. 13 feet out. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. The 76ers have gone one for three so far. Stripped it away. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Pass to primetime. Drops in the three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Gone two for five here in the first. Maxi covering. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. And he drives in. Prime time. Again, the Sixers score. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Shot clock at six. Throws it up high. 
Up high and down it goes on the lob. Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. And then B throws it down. Capable of playing either guard position. Harden sense for when his teammates are open is ridiculous. Pounded by Harris. Knocked loose. From 20 feet. That one goes in. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Here's the break. And the step back jumper is good. He has six. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. Here's prime time. He's got five. Harris outside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Ooh, just a savvy pump fake move by Harris. He knows it'll get him some contact on the shot. And the second free throw is good. 127 left to play in the first. Pass to Prez. And he can't get that one. Excellent D there from Embiid. And he lobs it up. Just a beautiful job of scanning the floor, finding the open man, Harris looking to involve his teammates. Gone five of nine from the floor. Pounded by Harris. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Oh, a nice one-handed slam right there. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. Out to the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Embiid. And he can't jam it through. Got six of ten attempts to fall. To the paint. You have to be accurate there. Very little room for error passing on the interior. Outside Harden. Now Embiid. Shoots from the baseline. That shot off. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Some good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. In this league, it is so hard scoring in the half court, so you have to run every time you get the opportunity. Rebound by the 76ers. And for Philadelphia, we've got James Harden. He's out there with Maxi. Joel Embiid is out there with Tobias Harris. And it's prime time in at the four. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxey's three-point shot from his first season to second year, just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. And for a player with the speed and quickness of Maxey, Grant leveling up that three-point shot changes everything for him. Oh, so true, B.A. It becomes pick your poison with him. And it put him in a conversation last year for most improved player. And he gets the bucket. Ten points for him. Now another view of that incredible mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. And for Philadelphia, James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then there's Tobias Harris. And it's prime time in at the four. 
Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. James Harden, with plenty of confidence, said, not to brag or anything, but I'm really good at this game. I'm unselfish. I play the right way. I don't try to do anything I can't do or that doesn't benefit our team. And that mindset keeps me in a good place. PA? Very self-assured, Allie. Thank you. Nice pass by Embiid, smartly taking advantage of a wide-open man. Defended by Harden. It's deflected. Harris with it. Outside Harden. Pass to Maxi. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. And the 76ers lead by two. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Well, with roster sizes expanding and the addition of two-way contracts, the NBA has 100 more roster spots than around 12 years ago. RJ, how's that changed things in your mind? Well, you just need so much more scouting and development. And you look at the different teams around this league, the ones that have continued success are the ones that are always able to find those diamonds in the rough. It's easy to get somebody good with the top five pick. Show me a team that can find somebody with the 30th or 35th pick. And the 17-footer goes down. Found some space to get off the mid-range, and he'll do damage from there if you let him. Outside Harden. Poke loose. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. From 13... Getting better on this side of the ball. Harden, good effort that time. Harden with the defensive effort. Embiid passes to Harden. Here's prime time. Off target from outside. Gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Doesn't go that time. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Now here's Maxi. Defense right on him. Count it. Maxi's got five points in the quarter. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you can give up some size, but that shows you how fearless he is, willing to attack the basket no matter who is in front of him. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Now here's Harden. He's closely guarded. Outside Maxi. Clock at six. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. Harden from outside. He drops it from range. Harden's got himself on the board with a three there. And look, the defense was fine. But in the end, Harden is just beating them with better offense. A minute 50 left in the first half. Knocked away. Here's prime time. 11 points in the game. From deep three-point range. Can't get it to fall. That miss makes him five for nine. To the wing on the left. Just five to shoot. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Pass to Embiid. With the fadeaway. That one doesn't drop. Gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Down low. And then Embiid with the dunk. Now, I understand he's a large human, but the defense has to be better. You can't let Embiid get whatever he wants inside. 
There's 37 seconds left in the second quarter. Rebounded by James Harden. Great contest of the shot. Kind of forced him to fade back more than he'd like. Here's Maxi. Buries it down low. And now it's a 5-point 76ers lead. Gone 4 of 10 from the field in the second. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. And he knocks down the first one. And he makes both free throws. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. For Philadelphia, they've gotten 7 of 10 attempts to drop in the second quarter. To the wing, right side. And here's Embiid. Again, Philadelphia. Being opportunistic, just taking what the defense allows. Yeah, if they aren't going to take away his space from mid-range, look, he's going to continue to shoot it. And the first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Pounded by Harris. And there's the lob. And so the ball out of bounds. Embiid touched it last. Tries a three off the inbound. On target from range. He's got six. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. And the 76ers, look at who they've got. They've got Joel Embiid. James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. Then there's Tobias Harris. And it's prime time in at the power forward position. That's tipped. And he dunks it down. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Maxi passes to Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Now Harris. Here's Harden. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Harris has got three assists in the game. 90 seconds into the second half now. Defended by Harden. It's good on the putback. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Over to the left wing. Pass to prime time. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. On the money from 12 feet away. Oh, he sees the mismatch, and he just goes to attack, keeping his jumper out of the defense's reach just too little. Outside Maxi. Back to Harden. Outside Maxi. Here's prime time. They grab their own miss. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. He was not going to settle on that play. Harris works his way inside and does a good job of drawing the foul. The first free throw is good. And Harris drops them both. Gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Embiid covers. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. Maybe they should credit assist numbers for picks that good. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. The 76ers have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. 
Pass to Maxi. Back to Harden. Knocks it loose. Out on his own on the break for the lead. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. And that's good as he hits both shots. Right around three minutes into this second half. Here's Harden. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Harrell's checked in for the Sixers. Thibel comes in for Maxi. And at this stage in Harden's career, he's all about winning. He wants to win as many titles as he can. And he banks in the layup. Give him eight. Here in the second half, this game still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. And, you know, a close game, you got to find that edge. High-energy plays like that one can make a big difference. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Inside. Goes back up. Goes up again. And that's two points on the layup. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Ooh, it's stolen away. Up ahead. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. And that's how you lead a team, literally. The Sixers trailing. Outside Thibel. Pass to prime time. The three. That shot missing. Got an eight of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. Covered by Thibel. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Knocked away. Here's the break. The pull-up. Rebounded by James Harden. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Harris left side. Can they get it? Drains the triple. Harris has got five points now this quarter. You can just see how decisive Harris is. Effective at catching passes and just firing it quickly. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. James Harden picks one up. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. And the 76ers making a change here. Milton is checked in. And he sinks the second. There's 45 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to primetime. From deep. The shot misses. Whatever rhythm he had last quarter, it has left his body. He is having a hard time finding buckets. Here's Prez. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Clock at six. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Montrez Harrell. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. He's off on the second. Now here's Milton. Blocked! And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. Eight seconds left to third. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third. Both teams in Canada tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass. Flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. 
Pass to prime time. Now here's Melton. Outside Milton. Fires from deep. No good on the shot. Yeah, that's a shame because I'm not sure the defense will let him get a shot that good again very soon. And for the 76ers, Tyrese Maxey is out there with DeAnthony Melton. Then there's Shake Milton. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's prime time in at the four-man position. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. Yeah, and with a finish like that, you know he's looking to extend the lead and put this game out of reach. Got a piece of it. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. James Harden, he's checked in for Melton. Here's prime time. Pulls it from the top of the key. And it goes straight through with a swish. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Deflected! We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Pass to prime time. Jacks up a three. And no good. Shooting an efficient 57% tonight. And that bucket makes him 6 for 10 in the contest. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often. Because they know they can depend on him to come through for them. Timeout called. The 76ers. And I'm sure the players will be staying hydrated with some Gatorade during this timeout. It's so important that they maximize their ability to recharge during a short break like this. Both teams will make substitutions. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle. He told them, we've got to protect the rim with everything we've got. If we cut down on their easy looks inside, we've got them. It might mean more room for their perimeter shooters, but that's a trade-off he's willing to risk. All right, back to you guys. Okay, thanks, Ali. From deep three-point range. And another miss by Philadelphia. There has been nothing for him this quarter. Ever since halftime, he's lost all of his touch. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. He hits the second from the line. Gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Maxi covering. And it's good from the elbow. Just continuing to pile it on. Refusing to let up. If he has space in the mid-range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are up big. Here's prime time. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Tremendous vision. Passing out of the shot. That's great decision making. Hounded by Harris. Six to shoot. From deep. No good that time. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. And he's going for the lob. And then Harden with the jam. He can do just about everything offensively. Harden is one of the most prolific scorers this planet has ever seen. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Maxi covering to the paint. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt. Takes it inside from 12 feet. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That free throw's good from Maxi. Both free throws good from Maxi. In a tight game, he is exactly who you wanted at the line. 
Maxi covering. Corner shot. Perfect. Right between the eyes on that one. There's a minute 54 left in the final quarter. Pass to Embiid. Back to Harden. And here is Maxi. Here's primetime. Shot clock at six. This one for three. And that one's good. Harden for three. Few guys can be as trusted as Harden when you're in these situations. He knows how to get it done. Now Philadelphia with it. They're on a 10-2 run here. Pass to Embiid. Back to Harden. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That'll be a second foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Got five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Philadelphia grabs the miss. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. Embiid covers. He connects! Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. They're down by five. 52 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. And now we present our New Balance player of the game. The defense has just looked utterly lost trying to slow him down. He's consistently just getting high percentage shots because of how hard he's working. He's doing pretty much whatever he can to get open and <laughs> making the most of those opportunities. Here's Harden. Yo, yo, yo. Pass to Embiid. It's tipped. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make in nine tries so far. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And that one drops for him. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. And who else do you want in this situation? It's all about Embiid, and he's ready to carry that load. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. But things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's an eight-point ball game. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. They're down by eight. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And time's running short. They just couldn't get over that hump. And I'm sure Coach is encouraging them to play to the final whistle. Then they can get out of here. Pass to House. There's the three. And he gets it back. And he recovers it. Beyond the arc. Harden can't hit. Here's ABC. And so the home crowd treated to a win. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.